we don't get ready to meet God as much as we meet God to get ready probably goes both ways. God meets us exactly where we are at. There's some good in the worst of us and there's some bad in the best of us and God is in both places equally. No matter how good we are or think we are or how bad we are or think we are, God arrives in both equally when we let him. I remember when my ex said I was weak because I believed in a thing called step three where we turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understand God. And she said, you're weak, you have no willpower. You know, she might have had something there. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe she's right. But I kind of ran myself through a gauntlet about that idea generally. And, and I came up with um, an answer that, you know, turning my will and life over to the care of God is a, is a good thing. And this is it preceded my sobriety. It preceded my marriages, my marriage, <laughs> and relationships, jobs, etc. cetera. And um, it even survived the dark night of the soul. But I, you know, I asked her at that point, I, you know, this isn't about a he said, she said thing. Thing. This is just a general principle. Um, I asked her how many times she got drunk. I knew the answer already, you know. And she said, well, once. And I said, well, what'd you do? She says, well, I quit. Because I've got willpower. I could just quit. And I said, well, I had willpower too. I got drunk and got sick thousands of times and didn't quit. So it sounds like you had a lack of willpower in your life and that I had lots of willpower. So it's, it's all about what we do with it. I think Solomon asked for wisdom. He thought outside of himself, you know, he considered that wisdom could be something he had to ask for, kind of like the serenity prayer. It's a gift. Serenity is a gift. So is wisdom. So is courage. Or at least it can be. God grant me the serenity. We're asking for a gift. Grant it. The courage to change the things that can. Courage is a gift, and the wisdom to know the difference. The wisdom is a gift, or at least we're asking for it. Doesn't mean we'll necessarily get it, but most people do, I believe. I'm, anytime I turn it over, God shows up. There's not been a three-day waiting period. But when I don't give it up, when I don't surrender, feel like I'm kind of like building a pedestal in hell or something. It's usually a painful ordeal when I don't let go and let God. But as always, take what you like and leave the rest. And as always, remember to tell three people a day that you love them. Because if you don't, you're probably wasting a day of your life. And don't do that. That's why we are here to love one another. God is love. If it ain't about love, it ain't about God. Peace out.